Thing is just basic. I usually have like sort of number three on the back, on the sides, yeah. trim on the top and then anything else you can do. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a little look, we'll see what we can do. Do you want me to set these up? We can do, I'll take them for you. Yeah, I'll put them somewhere safe. Cheers. I'll work where I'm. No, we don't do it because we just don't have the time. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, a lot of cut for our shave is time consuming, and you've got to spend a lot of time. It's kind of like 40 minutes to do a proper shave and doing whatever. It's time's money. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, if you're at work and you're going to work to earn money, it's all different. You know what I mean? I think there's a time and a place for it, cutthroat shaves. I mean, obviously there's a lot of these like um, like foreign salons that are setting up and stuff like that at the minute, and they're all doing it, but I don't think they're doing it properly. Yeah. So the elephants, yeah. Well, they're using a bick or they're using these cheap blades, do you know what I mean, what they're doing? I, I can't understand it because obviously, when you work out the costs of it to do a proper sh a wet shave, it does cost a few quid, do you know what I mean, to do it properly, with the products and all your razors and stuff like that, and if they're charging four pound, for a wet shave, it's not obviously not done right. They do a lot in um, Turkey, don't they? Yeah. But obviously, when you work out what your products and what everything costs, it does cost quite a bit of money. I mean, I bought off James the other week. I bought five blades for my thinning razor. It was like a tenner yeah. for five blades. That's two pound a blade. So you, you've got to think about that with every customer. Do you know what I mean? If I was using that as a wet shave on somebody, it'd be about two pound a blade. So if they're throwing it away. They're either not throwing it away and they're reusing them, or... One place and it was packed all the time, one after the other, yeah. after the other, after the other. I think a lot of people try it though when they go abroad, though. Oh yeah, you've got, to, you've got to try it. So this is Steve, he's going to have a number three back and sides. Um, if we are having a square neck today, or would you prefer it tapered? Uh, oh, square. You square. would like it square, yeah. so that's a bit different, obviously you'll see that. We'll work around it. Yeah. <laughs> And then we're just texturing out the top and trimming it down a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little trim on the top. So it's just a similar kind of thing as before, do you know what I mean? We'll just cut it on a number three, obviously, yeah, the two of the last one, and we'll just go with it and see how it goes. And we'll maybe tidy his goatee up afterwards and... Do I need a couple of Gentiles now then? In your salons and stuff. Sorry? I do you do your boyfriends? Yeah, but it's a good start. Yeah. Sorry? I did work in the salon, that's normally what I do. Oh, right. Is that what you want to do? You want to do gents? Um, or you wanting to do a bit of both? I want to do a bit of both. Yeah. You know, I started off doing women, and then I didn't like it, so I changed. So. Yeah. Yeah. There is a few prejudiced people about there, is there? But I can't really say no because obviously um, a girl who used to work with me many years ago, Judy, she owns like obviously Judy's salon in, in, Sut in Sutton. She's a great barber. You know what I mean, yeah. she's fantastic. So you can't like think in against people. I mean, when I first started where I'm working, I used to have Janetta work with me from um, Gents on Princess Ave, and obviously she's not like, not with us no more. Do you know what I mean? So she. Uh, yeah, but you that no, I think it's just. Certain gents, gents can be funny, they can come in and say, if I have had gents walk into my place, when Judy used to work then, sir, you're not cutting my hair. I'll wait for that, I'll wait for that guy. Yeah. Some people can be funny. I just think it's, I just think it's daft, do you know what I mean? I know quite a lot of girls that can cut hair perfectly well, do you know what I mean? I know a few like that, but... 
Yeah. yeah. Men to do the records, yeah. say them, yeah. they communicate more and they take more time over it. So. Now obviously with Steve's it's a little bit thinner on the back so I wouldn't chop that really really short because you can see through it unless you wanted it cut in short, you know what I mean? Now I've changed scissors because the other ones I've got, they're new, and these have got like, because these are more worn down, they give it a more of a softer finish, you know what I mean? You know, because I'm, I'm only cutting like short hair, I wouldn't like waste my scissors on, you know what I mean? On short hair. Obviously these are like gigantic, look at them. What are they? These are like, um, I think they're seven or seven and a half. But it's whatever you get used to. I mean, obviously when I first started barbering, Oh, this was all that was around. It was great big scissors. The one little tiny scissors that you've all got now, do you know what I mean? There was big scissors. I've known kids that have used 10 inch or 9 inch, do you know what I mean? They're like cutting wallpaper. <laughs> it's whatever you get comfortable with. What I'm using now? No, tidbit, I just prefer you prefer a short one? Yeah. But also obviously, oh. I always think that's to do with like obviously size of your hands and whatever you get used yeah. to. I've used smaller combs to cut people's hair. You know I mean, I have got smaller combs in there. But it's whatever you get used to. Obviously with me, obviously because I work in the barbers every day and obviously I get paid, do you know what I mean, for doing cutting hair. So the more haircuts I do, the more money I get at the end of the day. The more I can get hair I can get in that comb to cut somebody's hair with, the quicker I can get them out of the yeah. chair. You know what I mean? And that's all it's about. Yeah. Um, it's not always a good thing, but it's there in case you need it, do you know what I mean? I mean, unfortunately where I work, there's only two of us. And quite often I'm by myself on a weekend and I work by myself, so I've got to do like my haircuts plus the other guy's haircuts. You know what I mean? And, and I can be there for a long time, do you know what I mean? I have to wear uh, open up earlier and work a little bit later and Are you put rent a chair then? No, I just I just work for the for the salon. In fact I'm the only one out of for about forty years that's ever been took on. Everybody else has only had fifty fifty split or oh, yeah. been whatever I've been taken on by the company, I get paid sick pay and holiday pay and yeah. all the rest of it that goes with it, where everybody else doesn't. Um, and you find that in a lot of salons the work. A lot, you know, a lot of them will want you to go self-employed and rent a chair off them. And and it's one of the reasons I've come to college obviously to get my quality so I can get my own place. I mean, where I worked, we was all taught in, in, in the salon, yeah. you know what I mean? We was, we was all salon based and... <coughs> Unfortunately, when I started like 20 years ago, it was just like... I was lucky to get where I got in the, in the shop I got in. Um, but unfortunately, the old guy I worked for was a bit of a stickler and he wanted you. He, he said you can work there. But you've got to be earning money for me within two months. And if you're not earning money, there's a door. Get going. When you finished, or no, maybe a bit of gel. Don't you bother? No. It's a bit, ooh, one of them naughty customers like that dump out, innit? <laughs> like, you won't be able to sell him that, would you? <laughs> huh? There's no products going to him. It's too far away, that's why.
So in the summer, do you tend to keep it like it is, just trimmed, or do you have it like shaved down a little bit? Just or trimmed. Just it's trimmed. I'm, it's funny, I'm more likely to have it shaved down in the winter, actually. Yeah, just some just people do. Yeah, you get some people so, like that. So it makes it last longer for the winter, and they're not having yeah. to run around. So even though I've cut it like scissors over comb going forward, still try and pick it up a little bit because you might find you've got that little bit that you want it taken out or there's a little bit that you've you, you found that's there, do you know what I mean? It just gives it a nicer blend. Obviously, <laughs> if you think about it in like logical terms, obviously it's got really short hair. Yeah. Um, and you, you don't want to just cut it in two minutes because it's not going to come back to you. I mean, I could I could do that in like four or five minutes if it's been done. But obviously, you want to spend that little bit more time with him because he has come in to get his hair cut. And if he's paying a tenner or whatever, you don't want him to feel like he's lost out. Do you know what I mean? For two minutes of hair cutting. It's the same when you when you start doing like when you start doing jet, like your old pensions and stuff like that. You, you let like your bread and butter customers. You want them to come back once a fortnight, once every three weeks. Do you know what I mean? They look after you. They're the ones that, when you've got your little quiet time at work, they're still coming in and they're still paying your wages and they're still, you know what I mean, giving you that little tip at the end of the day or whatever, you know what I mean? You can make quite a lot of money off your tips and... I mean, I've known people working salons that earn more in tips than they have getting paid. Sorry? Well, they've been trying to tax us all for years, but it's just not going to happen. At the end of the day, it's they're saying that they want you to write it all down. Well, you're not going to write everything down. You know what I mean? When you work for yourself, you're not going to put every haircut for your book. You're just going to do whatever you can to, to the minimum. That's him back right on the top, Steve. Yeah, just put the bar of my glasses. You can indeed. That's that one. No, you want that on him now. Oh, would, have, would have known about that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, all I've done is just clean it up on the Thank edges. You. Yeah, So Steve's gonna have a square neck. We'll just clean everything up again with the liner, and just it's just easy. You know what I mean, I wish we had more of them. We could just let you up here and let you do it. And same again, like Steve's, because it's, it's got a longer number on the sides, don't go real wide around the ear because you want it to look a bit more full. Because you don't want it really short around his ears. You've been shaving your neck at home with a razor? Uh, I haven't, no. Last, last time I had it there, but it was... Uh, Wet shaved? Uh, yeah. yeah. See, now when I, when I normally cut hair, I come in that angle. That's where it should be. His hairline's been taken away because obviously somebody's wet shaved it. I would normally come for that angle there coming in. So you've got more of a, an edge coming down to a square neck. Obviously he's going to have a, a smaller square neck because it's not going to be as wide. But you'll find that as you're cutting hair, you'll, people, you'll, you'll see things and you'll think, oh, that's not right, you know what I mean? Like certain styles where the, um, the sides, say, would be level, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, where is this, but you've got the... It's that burns. Yeah. Are there certain styles where you just leave them like that and wait? Some people, I mean, generally, as a rule, as I'm, as I'm cutting out, I'll ask somebody if they want the side bones touching up or if they don't want them or they just want them just fading out at the bottom. Obviously, I can tell with Steve's he keeps them quite neat and quite short, so... All I've done is just touch them at the bottom, just so it's got that neater edge to it, rather than having them little bits that are sticking out. But it's all about the customer. I mean, customer obviously will prefer a certain, a certain way and a certain style. Obviously, the main thing I suppose we always you wear glasses, don't you? So yeah. you've got to keep it to a certain level. You don't want them looking like one going up and one going down. You want it so it looks even. So 
So the same thing again, same principle. I would just tidy up all the long bits on a square neck. Just clean it up on the edges. Now with square neck, I always find if you just going to tilt the red just a little bit forward and then just aim it, just go, you know what I mean? You'll find your own level balance. Obviously the floor's straight, so we're up in. So I would go there. Obviously if Steve had that little bit more length, it would look more sharp around the edges, but obviously it's been taken away and it will grow back. You know what I mean, a couple of days, what well, I mean, a couple of weeks it'll grow back and it'll look fine. And there's loads of different variations of square neck as well, but obviously people, some play like it real thick at the bottom, leave them real heavy. So you can see it's real sharp. Some people want it faded out, so it's just got a little sharp line. Um, everybody's just different. You'll find people that want different things, you know what I mean? And same principle, just, just clean them off, you know what I mean? So far do you go to your floor? Yeah. You alright, yeah? Yeah. So we're going to... How's your eyebrows? Do you want them tidying up as well? Uh, or, uh, do you want me to just take the tips off? Yes. Yeah. We're going to clean his eyebrows up. Which most people, like your clients, will ask for it. I don't know. What, it seems to be the in thing at the minute. They all want their eyebrows shaving. I don't know if it's too much to do with these threading chairs that you see around town and people taking them off with women's or whatever, but most gents will want it doing. Now I always find, go for the wider side, don't go for the thin side, because you'll just take them completely off. You know what I mean? What do you normally do with your beard? Just, just clean it up around the edges, line your tash out and... Just straighten it. Just straighten it and clean it up, it. yeah. I'd, I'd no worries. sort of shave it, you bit, do, but it's, yeah. um, I don't know if you can do it. Yeah, I will do, yeah. So all we'll do, we'll just sharpen the edges up. Might be easy if I turn it. Are you all right turning around? Of course. So I'll show it shows them what they're doing then. So if we turn Steve wrong, look. Find out where the lock is. So all it is, it's just got like little thicker bits and thinner bits as we go around. Now everybody's different, some people might say I'll just shave it on the clipper, number one all over on it. I prefer sometimes just to use a smaller comb and just take all the bits out where I need to take out, so it looks more full. And I find that more customers will come back to you if you spend that little bit of extra time doing it, rather than just rushing it and... And it is like, I mean, this year I think it is going to be the biggest thing. Beards are going to be massive this year, like, I'd say 60% of my customers are growing beards. The one big, and then it's bigger the better. If you look at all the barbering magazines that are going around at the minute, beards are in, short back and sides, real clean cut, and big massive beards. And it doesn't matter what colour it is, it's, it doesn't look the greatest. I don't think it looks the greatest, but it's the styles and trends. So with his top lip, top lip, if you just put a clean line, don't go real high, just keep it on the actual natural lip line. And these are little things that people struggle to do at home as well, do you know what I mean? So just clean the, clean the little bits around the edges. Can you just off me? Good lad. Just by taking them little few hairs off, it just slims it down a little bit. And 
And obviously beards and stuff like that, down to the individual, depending on what they do for, for a job or whatever, do you know what I mean? Some people like it real crisp and very, really, just like it rough and ready. And some people, you'll find some people that don't want a neckline, some people want it shaving out and tapering out. And it's all to do with that individual. But all these little things, like doing beards and stuff like that, can earn you that little bit more money. Like, I mean, I charge an extra couple of quid for doing, a, if I'm lining out, out and just giving it a little trim down, I'll charge you an extra two or three quid just for doing your beard. And it's some boosts your airports back up, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't use like a big comb as well, I'd try and get like a small one or a flexi one. So obviously if it's flexi you can get into the corners. Do you do this with a machine at home, Steve? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we're not over with like a number, what is it, number one or two or something? Uh, it's, yeah, it's just, just a one. Short, yeah, a little, little, is it one of the ones where you slide back? Yeah. Quick slide, yeah. Why? Too late? Things come up for some Okay. <laughs> I was supposed to be doing three. I thought it was me then. So like your little corners, you can always scoop them out just, just to give it that little bit more shape, you know what I mean? Because people don't like these bits sometimes, sticking on the lips. Um, and you'll find some people that want it bringing right in into the middle and shaping out. But obviously with Steve doing his own at home, he don't want to be taking like loads out of it and putting loads of style into it because obviously we might not be able to put it back in. So that's just a basic clean up on the, on the beard. We could have done with somebody bigger, couldn't we? A bigger beard. Huh? Is that alright for you Steve? That's great, thanks. I'll show you the back. Spin you around. Get you back to work. Yeah, that's great. Thanks very much. All right. Yeah. It's nice, clean, and tidy. Spot on. Obviously, yeah. in them little corners, they'll will come back because obviously they just be took off of the wet razor. Yeah. I could tell stuff there. So. Oh yeah. Cool. I appreciate you coming. Thank you for that's coming. All. No, that's a pleasure. No problem at all.